Welcome back everyone. Here's a look at storm tracker radar. Once again, we have widespread rain showers and even a few thunderstorms that are kind of uh, re strengthening here uh, north and west of Des Moines. So let's get a closer look once again. Carroll County, Greene County over to Calhoun and Pocahontas County. Some widespread thunderstorms at this point, and these are pressing to the east and actually these recently developing storms that are right over Jefferson right now seem to be making a bit of a southeasterly track. So I want you folks in Boone, Ogden, Perry and eventually Des Moines to keep an eye on that because we could get some downpours and some thunderstorms to move our way over the next couple of hours. Right now in Des Moines, it's just light rain. That's the same story for Ames, Marshalltown, Newton and down toward Pella. But again, keep an eye to the north and west because some heavier rain could be heading our way over the next hour or two. It's 51 degrees in Des Moines right now. Winds out of the southeast at eight miles per hour. Uh, I think if we get thunderstorms, it'll be around eight or nine o'clock this morning in Des Moines. Could see some lingering showers in the late morning and by noon we are probably drying out in Des Moines to uh, mostly dry afternoon. A couple pop up storms are possible this evening, but most of us will avoid that later on today. So here is the first batch of rain moving through central Iowa, still lingering in east central Iowa at lunchtime, maybe even down toward Lamoni. Those of you farther west, uh, you're probably done by the late morning with the rain uh, for the rest of the afternoon. Most of us dry this afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds in Des Moines. Here are those pop up showers and storms again, very isolated. Most of us avoid it, but something to watch out for this evening and overnight tonight. A few of us could wake up to fog tomorrow morning, but once we get rid of that, like yesterday, we will see plenty of sunshine on Wednesday afternoon, and that should bump up your highs to the upper 70s across the entire state. We'll keep the sunshine rolling on Thursday for the most part until the evening. There's going to be a cold front moving in from the north. Now that's going to interact with some warm and humid air across Iowa that could trigger some strong storms on Thursday evening through Thursday night. So I'm not expecting any severe weather with any of the storms today uh, here in central Iowa. Tomorrow looks just fine, but for now we'll give it a one for Thursday for the severe threat tracker. Hail damaging wind gusts would be the primary threat with any of those storms, and those would be most likely in central and eastern Iowa on Thursday night. Uh, but look at that warmth. 87 are high on Thursday, 84 on Friday. So the warmest air of the season arriving later this week. 70s will return by the weekend with a good chance for some showers and storms this weekend and more active weather and warm weather expected to stick around next week.